Uh, chapter 3, verses 14 through 20. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Ooh. Oh, man. Do you, you ever have just something flash into your mind and it kind of made you want to throw up? It said, sing, O daughter of Zion. And I just saw a picture of Anderson's face. He's the daughter of Zion. I'll bet Zion is not proud of that face. The Muslims, the Nazis, the liberals, and Steve Anderson all got the same spirit. Bless my heart to know that every time Steve Anderson prays, he's got to pray to the Holy One of Israel. I guarantee you, Steve Anderson's listened to this, and I am probably going to, I'm going to commit some blasphemy that I'm not even aware of until he posts it tomorrow. Uh, the um, Hebrew word for wicked there is Anderson. Good to be in church. Good to see me. Okay, by this time tomorrow, Stephen Anderson will make a video of me saying that and say something about it. Good to be saved. Yay. Oh, wait a minute. I can't say that to you anymore. <laughs> I, hey, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a heretic, demoniac, all this other stuff. Oh, uh, this, this is Jesus Christ talking. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Now, your pastor said to notice his shirt. I hope you notice something else. When he went like this, there were no nail holes. If you went to Jesus Christ and asked for eternal life, Jesus Christ said he would not cast you out, but Stephen Anderson just did. Yeah, yeah. I have never called Jesus Christ a liar, except that tonight he'll find some twist and he'll be a liar. It is obvious Stephen is off his lithium. You say, well, you're talking about a, a local church pastor. Uh-uh. I'm not messing with his church. He's messing with this one. He condemned everybody here to hell because he doesn't like what I, what, who you have in. Like, like every pastor in the country now has to get their speakers approved with Stephen Anderson. No nail holes, Steve. No nail holes. Why don't you try putting those in? That'd be fun.